Hello everyone, welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Tuesday, April 6th. We're going to be talking some NBA DFS picks today on both DraftKings and FanDuel. But before we get started, we're going to take a quick look back at yesterday's picks and see how they turned out. So over on the DraftKings side, this was the updated lineup. We had Russell Westbrook, $11,100, looking for 55, 56 points out of him. Got to 62, so he was a hit. Derek White, who I did like quite a bit after DeJounte Murray, did get ruled out. $6,300. We were looking for about 31, 32 points out of him. Got to 27.75, so he is a miss. Same thing with DeMar DeRozan here, too. Really liked him after DeJounte Murray was out. $8,100, looking for 41 points out of him. Got to 27.5. He is a miss. Uh, usually he gets that kind of facilitator role, especially when Murray's not out there. Didn't quite end up happening yesterday. They got blown out. Didn't really play too much later on in the game either. So just wasn't a good day for those two overall. Then at power four, we have Pascal Siakam, $8,500, looking for 42, 43 points out of him. Got to 37.25, so he was a miss. Isaiah Stewart at center, $4,000, looking for 20 points out of him. Got to 29, so he was a hit. So a pretty hit or miss day overall on the DraftKings side. One of my other picks that I kind of did like is the GPP pivot play was Davis Bertans, and he definitely paid off yesterday. But uh, as far as these ones went, not so much. Then on the Fandle side, we had Derek White. On the FanDuel side, he was $5,700. Looking for about, you know, 28, 29 points out of him. Got to 28.6, so he was a hit. DeMar DeRozan, also a miss on the FanDuel side, $7,900. Looking for 39, 40 points out of him. Got to 26.8. Kenrich Williams, $4,700. Looking for 23, 24 points out of him. Got to 15.8. He was a miss, but he did get injured in this game, kind of banged up. I think he got hurt actually kind of early. Tried to play through it. Then he had to come out once again after that, so... Just wasn't a good day for him overall. Isaiah Stewart, $3,700. Looking for 19 points out of him. Got to 33.2, so he was a good hit there. And then last but not least, Rudy Gobert. Somebody that I did like a lot yesterday. He was $8,100. Looking for about 40, 41 points out of him. I gave him a push here because he was at 40. Really, you really want to get to that 40 and a half to be the hit. So technically he's a push, but definitely a guy that didn't hurt you too much overall. But like I said, just kind of a hit or miss day on both sites yesterday. Uh, I did have one fan to line up that kind of broke through, did pretty well. But overall, it was just a really weird hit or miss day, honestly. There's a lot of value that came out. There's a lot of value that didn't hit as well. So definitely an interesting day. I think today's going to be another interesting day. And with that being said, we'll get into the injuries for today's slate. So this is an eight-game slate for today. We have the one seven o'clock island game, and that's the Bulls and the Pacers. This game could actually have a little bit of value in it. Uh, we're looking to see if Kobe White's going to play today or not. If I remember correctly, I thought they said he wasn't going to play for a couple games now. So uh, I would presume he's out once again. Garrett Temple, Daniel Tyson both out as well. Could see Thaddeus Young, Laurie Markman get a little bit of extra run, a couple extra minutes in that backup center role behind Nikolai Vucevic. Uh, for the Pacers, obviously, we're looking at DeMontis Sabonis, Jeremy Lamb, and Malcolm Brogdon. Who's going to play out of this group? Sounds like Sabonis is going to be missing once again. And then we move over to the Pelicans. Obviously, the big ones, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, are both game-time decisions. Steven Adams, game-time decision as well. We'll see who ends up playing out of this group. If, it, they, if none of these three end up playing, there's going to be lots of value once again. And then Kira Lewis looks like he's not going to play. Nikhil Alexander-Walker and Josh Hart are both already out for this game. Then on the Hawks side, we got John Collins, Chris Dunn, DeAndre Hunter, and Cam Reddish all out already. Clint Capel is a game-time decision, but it looks like he'll play. For the Philadelphia 76ers, uh, pretty much the same as last time out. Maxie's a game-time decision. He did not play the last time out. We'll see if he's back today or not. And then for the Boston Celtics, Evan Fournier and Tristan Thompson are both out. And then we move down to the Lakers and the Raptors. Andre Drummond, game-time decision. We'll see if he plays or not. That's going to change a lot on this slate. If he doesn't play, Montrezl Harrell looks like a good play. Wesley Matthews, also a game-time decision. I do believe he missed the last time out. Same three guys out as we've been looking at with Anthony Davis, Jared Dudley, and LeBron James. For the Toronto Raptors, we're looking at Rodney Hood out once again. Kyle Lowry, Patrick McCall, and Fred Van Fleet is already ruled out. So it looks like DeAndre Bembry and Malachi Flynn are both going to be values on DraftKings. We'll see who ends up in that starting lineup. Obviously, Bembry started yesterday, but Malachi Flynn did play a big role in that game as well. Then for the Memphis Grizzlies, Jackson Melton and Winslow are all out. Melton's the newest one here. He's going to open up a little bit of value. Should he have a little bit more minutes for guys like Grayson Allen, Dylan Brooks, Tyus Jones, and Desmond Bain. 
nobody really benefits the most, but the minutes from Melton are going to get spread out between those four guys. Brandon Clark, game time decision. We'll see if he ends up playing or not. Then for the Miami Heat, we're just looking at Casey Akpala out for this point in time. Then we move down to the Detroit Pistons. Looks like Mason Plumlee will be back today after his day of rest. Rodney Magruder, Jaleel Okafor are both game time decisions. So not really too interested in getting to anybody on this Pistons team. Nuggets all the way healthy. For the Bucks, P.J. Tucker's still out. Giannis on an Agupo game time decision. Looks like he'll play, though. Golden State Warriors, Eric Pichel's out once again. Then we move over to the Portland Trailblazers. Derek Jones Jr. is listed as a game time decision. They're saying he's likely to play. Sound like he was going to be out for a little bit longer, so I would kind of expect him not to play. We'll just have to see. Uh, Collins is still out. And then the big one today is Nurkic is out today. I believe it's just a rest day for him. You know, obviously being kind of banged up, playing a couple games in a row, giving him a day off. Enos Kander is somebody I do like a lot today, though. Then for the Clippers, Jay Scrub, Serge Ibaka both out. Patrick Beverly, game time decision. And DeMarcus Cousins is, is a game time decision as well. We'll see if he ends up playing or not. But with that being said, that's a quick little rundown on all the injuries for today's games. I think these injuries in play are going to make a big difference on this slate. Because a lot of guys are pretty fairly priced. There's not really a lot of guys standing out in terms of projections early on today. But with that being said, we'll get over to FanDuel and take a look at my picks over there. So first off, we're going to start off with point guard Dennis Schroeder. He is $6,900. We're looking for 34, 35 points out of him. He's actually done that six out of the last seven games. Last game, he had a poor shooting night. So this is a great spot to look at for Dennis Schroeder today. Obviously, he's still one of the main scorers on that Lakers offense with LeBron James and Anthony Davis both missing. No, he goes against Toronto tonight. Should be a pretty good matchup for him. There's not anybody really good defensively that's going to be guarding him either. Then shooting guard, we're going to go with Grayson Allen, $4,400. Like I already said a little bit before, DeAndre Melton's going to be missing this game. Could get an extra minute or two there. You're looking for about 22 points out of him. He's actually done that five out of the last six games. So it seems like a pretty safe play here once, once again as well. DeAndre Bembry. Flat minimum, $3,000. We saw him start yesterday. We'll see if him or Malachi Flynn start today. I think both guys are good plays today now with Fred Van Fleet missing. Then at power forward, we're going back to Kyle Anderson. I played him a couple days ago. $5,400. His price actually went down since the last day, which seems kind of ridiculous. But, you know, Brandon Clark might not play in this game. DeAndre Melton's already not playing in this game. You're looking for 27 points out of him. He's actually done that the last three times he's been out on the court. So, Definitely seems like a pretty safe play here as well today. Then last but not least, we got Enos Canner. $6,000 looking for 30 points out of him, averaging 31 on the season. We already talked about no Joseph Nurkic today, so Canner's going to get the lion's share of those minutes at that center position for the Portland Trailblazers. But if you go with these five players over on DraftKings today, you have $24,300 left over. $8,100 per player, so definitely not a room, a lot of flexibility there. You can probably pay up for two studs, fill in with another guy like Malachi Flynn, and have a pretty solid lineup overall. Definitely a lot of different possibilities today. Like I said, these injuries in play are going to change a lot on this slate, so just make sure you're on top of the news today. As always, I'll be listing all that news and starting lineups down in the comments below. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to Fandle and talk about my picks over there as well. So we're going to start off with point guard position, Tyus Jones. And I actually made this list pretty early on where there wasn't a lot of players at that point guard position projecting well. I think Malachi Flynn's definitely in play as well. He got priced up quite a bit on FanDuel though. So uh, you can consider him. You can consider Tyus Jones. Somebody else is probably going to open up throughout the day. Uh, Tyus Jones is $3,800. Should be getting a couple more minutes with DeAndre Melton missing. Looking for about 19 points out of him. Averaging just under that on the season. So pretty safe play if you were looking for a pay down option. Then at shooting guard, we'll go Grayson Allen, $4,700, looking for 23, 24 points out of him, averaging about 20 on the season. He's actually hit that 24-point mark four out of the last six games. It was five out of the last six on the DraftKings side, so pretty solid play overall here today. Then we move down to Justin Holiday at small forward, $4,100. You're looking for 20, 21 points out of him. Looks like Sabonis probably not going to play once again. Should solidify his minutes just a little bit more, especially if Jeremy Lamb doesn't play as well. Then we move over to power forward. We got Marcus Morris. Power forward was kind of yucky today, honestly. Marcus Morris is $4,900, looking for 24, 25 points out of him. Definitely seen that upside out of him. Average about 20 and a half on the season. He's actually hit that 24, 25 point mark, I believe, two out of the last three games. 
So going against a Portland team should be a pretty good matchup for him in terms of pace, in terms of Portland's defense not being the best as well. So would not be surprised if he has a good day today. Then last but not least, we're going right back to Enos Canner, $5,800. Looking for 29 points out of him. Averaging just over 30 on the season. Nurkic is out. Not too much else to say there that we haven't already said on that DraftKings side. But if you go with these five players over on FanDuel, you'll have $36,700 left over. Just under $9,200 per player. So definitely a lot of room to pay up for some of these studs once we figure out who's in, who's out, where all the value plays are. Definitely be sure to look out for all those updates today as I post them down in the comments. And then as always... If you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Definitely here to help you guys out the best that I can. And with that being said, if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Definitely helps build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports. And that's truly one for you, the viewers. Helping you guys with your DFS, whether it's NBA or NFL. Helping you guys with your fantasy football teams. Talking all the different football news this offseason. Sam Darnold just got traded. Probably be making a video about him later today. Kind of my initial thoughts on that trade. And if I think it will work out for him. If I think it will work out for the Panthers. Who kind of got the better end of that deal. And then last but not least. Going to be talking a little bit of fantasy baseball. And some baseball news as well. Obviously last night we saw Fernando Tatis Jr. go down. With an apparent shoulder injury. Hopefully we get a little bit more news about him today. Unfortunately I do own Fernando Tatis Jr. On quite a few of my fantasy baseball teams. So I'm really hoping for the best outcome for him overall. But with that being said, if you are a new or current subscriber who's yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, post daily NBA DFS videos like this, as well as fantasy football and fantasy baseball content as well. But with that being said, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Hopefully you all do very well in NBA DFS tonight. And as always, if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Definitely here to help you guys out the best that I can. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. Definitely appreciate you taking the time out of your day. It really, truly means a lot to me. And I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.